Okay, guys, so this is the next part of the lesson. How does the digestive process work? Uh, what I really recommend that you do is to go on YouTube and actually uh, Google uh, digestive process or digestion and watch some YouTube videos on the process because it makes the learning a lot easier because they have actually got animations. But I'll, I'll try and run through it anyway, just so, um, yeah, just for your benefit. Okay, so stage one, uh, digestion starts in the mouth. Mastication, so that's another word for chewing. So you chew your food and you break it down into smaller pieces. And while you chew, your slivery glands, remember that um, cauliflower-like thing that they actually had in the previous diagram, will actually secrete saliva into your mouth. In fact, sometimes before you even start chewing or before you even put food into your mouth, the moment you smell something nice, you already get saliva, you know, um, squirting into your mouth to actually prepare um, your mouth for the, the intake of food. So as you chew, your tongue will mix the food together with the saliva uh, and the saliva coats the food and makes it, you know, um, lubricates it so that it's easier to swallow. And it forms this thing called a bolus, which is a soft rounded ball. So this green thing here in the diagram is actually the bolus and that's what you swallow. Okay. So stage two, this is when um, the food gets pushed into the esophagus or the gullet. Now the tongue actually pushes the bolus in the upper part of the throat. And you have this thing called an epiglottis. And as you swallow, the epiglottis will actually uh, flap downwards and cover the trachea. Now the trachea is the pipe that goes into your lungs. And obviously you don't want any food going into your lungs, so the epiglottis will close your trachea. And then the food, the bolus rather, will enter into the esophagus. Now the muscles in the walls of the lower throat and esophagus contract in waves and push the bolus down into the stomach. So as I said earlier, the esophagus is actually a muscular tube. And so it's got circular muscles running all the way down it. And that will help to push the food into your stomach. Which means that when you stand on your head, you can still swallow. So that wave-like motion of the muscles contracting and expanding, so it contracts here at the top of the food and it will expand here at the bottom of the food. So that goes all the way down, helps push the food down. And this wave-like motion is actually called peristalsis. Now you need to know this word, okay, peristalsis. So stage three is the stomach stage. When the bolus enters the stomach, it's mixed with gastric juice. So gastric is another word for um, stomach, okay? So stomach juice, basically. And also you're going to get mucus secretions. And the mucus actually comes from the glands in the sides of the walls of the stomach. Now, why do you need mucus? Well, this gastric juice, the pH of that is actually 2. So that's a very low pH. Oops, sorry, that's my phone. Now, you need mucus to coat the inside of your stomach so that when you have the gastric juice being secreted, it doesn't digest your own stomach. So the mucus actually protects your stomach. Okay, so over here, the gastric juice is mainly made, they say, of hydrochloric acid, enzymes, and some other compounds. Now, your stomach, it's a bag, but it's not just, uh, not just a bag, it's actually got muscles as well. And this allows the muscle, uh, the stomach to actually churn. So it sort of contracts and expands, just like the esophagus. And this helps to further break down the food. So this is like the way it does mechanical digestion of the food, okay? So while it, that expansion and contraction is going on, you have the gastric juice enzymes which cause chemical digest digestion. So that will actually um, liquefy the food. So you imagine as you chew it, it, it comes into this sort of semi-solid mushy mess and then it gets pushed down into your stomach where gastric juices get thrown onto it and then it becomes even more liquidy and mushy, okay? And that liquidy mushy stuff is called chyme. Chyme, not chyme, okay? Like Time. Time. Okay, you get it. 
Okay, stage four. So after the stomach is done with it, it gets pushed into the small intestine. And as I said, the small intestine actually starts from here onwards, okay? So chyme from the stomach will enter the small intestine. And this part here of the small intestine, for your knowledge, is actually called the duodenum. Duodenum. Okay, so when it gets to the duodenum, the digestive juices from the pancreas and, um, and the liver are actually secreted in. And together, these juices are called the pancreatic juice and bile. Okay, and what they actually do is neutralize the acid in the chyme. So you imagine here it's actually pH 2. And then it gets squeezed into this duodenum and then it gets pancreatic juice and some bile and that actually helps to bring the pH back down to 7. Okay, because both the secretions are alkaline. Okay, continuing on in the intestine. In the pancreatic juice, you have enzymes which digest both carbohydrates, proteins and fats. We'll talk more about these specific enzymes later. All right, as it travels down the small intestine, so it you know, gets to this part here, more intestinal juice is produced by glands in the duodenum. Okay, so there's some glands there around here which will produce more intestinal juice. And these will complete the digestion of carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. So what you need to know is that when, when you first eat food in the mouth, the molecules, the food molecules, they're huge, which, you know, your stomach, your small intestine cannot absorb at all. And it will break down in steps, step by step. So it'll go into a slightly smaller molecule, into a slightly smaller mo molecule, until you eventually get those simple sugars, um, amino acids and fatty acids in glycerol, which your body can absorb. Okay, so it doesn't it doesn't happen, it doesn't go from like carbohydrates straight down to um, simple sugars. It will actually you know break down to a disaccharide first, and then right down to your monosaccharide. All right, so um, I think we'll stop there, and then next we'll go into how the different nutrients are actually digested one by one.